All right, here it is. The extended conversation with Tad Davis. And we talk about all sorts of things. Sci- sci-fi books, uh, Nicolas Cage. Uh, I learn a little pie. It's very exciting. Um, yeah, it's a little wild and wacky, as bonus material should be. Hope you enjoy. Don't get me wrong, it's not perfect. I get a lot of people come into the bar all the time and they think I've got the perfect life. And I, I, I still have to work. I still have to pay the bills. I still have to pay my rent. I still have to... Uh, there's a bunch of immigration things that are yeah, required of sure. me to be able to stay in the country. Yeah. So it's not without responsibility or things like that, but it's on my own terms. So on a if, uh, scale of 1 to 10 when you were in Los Angeles and how you felt in general as, as your human self and the you know as a being on the planet and then compare well, that it was constantly con- in Los Angeles constantly stressed so constantly like you know I'm, I'm never it, is this good enough is yeah. this I, I need to do better I need to do I need to catch up with this I need to I'm not living up to this I'm not yeah. you know, this, Thailand, I have you this have potential that. Thailand I'm just there yeah. you know, I'm going through my life and doing things at my own pace and yeah, yeah I, I do want to see because now I'm at the point that I want to I want to do half a year in Thailand and half a year in Japan. Oh, and Japan is the polar opposite of Thailand. It's in super hyper, so right? So many ways, yeah. Everything's rigid and structured and yeah. rules, and you. But you know what they ask you in, in Japan when they meet you? It's like, oh, what's your name? Where are you from? And then what's your hobby? Because your hobby in Japan, your hobby is it defines you because really? that's your stress relief. From the, you, because you have to like conform and you have to be yeah exactly oh, okay. you, you you you're you have responsibility to society to do everything that society expects of you but then you need to have something else that releases you but they can't even let that be like just it, it, this is in my experience they can't even let that be unstructured so it has to be something where like you take these courses or you study What's your tea ceremony. I'm I collect science fiction books. So. You do? Yeah. Oh, yeah. like what? I was just out of McKay's the other day. Uh, I got fifteen books. And I got to haul back to Thailand. What's your favorite sci-fi book? Oh no, I collect anthologies. Oh, cool. So I collect best of sci- yeah, SF yeah. What am number I? eight and yeah. things like that. Okay, I have a Ray Bradbury anthology that's the bomb. It's got uh, the belt in it, which is one of my favorite Ray Bradbury books. Oh, the belt is great. I, I remember reading that in, like, fourth yeah, grade and having my mind blown. I've reread that a few times in my I think life. I've got... I, I have... I have at home that I just dug out of Mom's storage unit the first book I think I ever got as a kid. And it was... Ray Bradbury... is ours for Rocket. Ah! And it's got the belt it's in it. It's got the belt in yeah. it. Yeah. I love that. Man. Oh, that's a great... Ray Bradbury, man. What a... Yeah. What a mind. All yeah, those guys, but, I yeah. Asimov, but he's kind of a jerk. You well, know aren't that? they audience? Yeah, yeah, Orson Scott yeah. Card, not a nice guy. Yeah, no, exactly, but Ender's yeah. Game, what a beautiful book! I yeah. sobbed at the end of that yeah, book. Yeah, Ender's Game. Sobbed, just, yeah. and I hated the movie. Oh, well, I was so bummed out by the movie. I know, of course. It, it was Hollywood. But yeah. oh, the book is sensational. But yeah. what a jerk of a human being that guy yeah. is. Yeah. Which is weird because what the is whole point—he's he's like a homophobe and he's, he's anti this and he's, he's anti that. He's guns and he thinks that he's libertarian. Crazy I know, but see, I don't even know. I mean, I, I would say I'm kind of libertarian in a well, way, yeah. you know. But I mean, he's just kind of a jerky, yeah. curmudgeon like mean yeah. guy. Yeah. No, no, I've never he, met him. I'm always like, he hates, based, the, he he hates, hates the gays. Yeah, he yeah. hates the gays and, you know, whatever. So, yeah. But, God, that book is so beautiful. And the yeah. crazy thing about that, I think, is the fact that I don't want to spoil the book for anyone that hasn't read it, yeah. but the whole concept of that book is accepting that which you don't understand and yeah. embracing it. Like yeah. That's really the whole thing. Yeah. Theme of the it's it's book. like, how did this how guy did write, write that? that? Well, well he wrote it 20 years ago, so know, maybe he's just gotten old and grumpy. Like Ray Bradbury. Ray yeah, Bradbury is like the old. The, the, I hope I don't he's become a grumpy. Literally old a person. get off my lawn type guy. Yeah. Ray Bradbury's turned but into. But what a brain. What a brain. Yeah, yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Sheesh. Isaac Asimov, who oh. invented the geosynchronous Was he satellite. He's not a jerk. He's not a jerk. I don't I want to know. No, no, I don't know. Yeah, maybe not. But he moved to Sri Lanka to live with, you know. I can't. I'm not going to say. Yeah, that. okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'll Google him later. Yeah, you Google him later. No, he, he, in a brilliant mind, and he yeah. and he created so much of our modern. Like, oh you know, God, technology, visionary, technology. absolute visionary, yeah. and 
I yeah, mean, like all, those, Wells, all those guys, know? I was just going to say, yeah. all those guys, they they either really did have a time machine and could see into the future, or they were aliens or something, I don't know, but how they, <laughs> they basically knew everything that was coming. There's a, what is that, uh, the, the Learning University, or the, you can get these books on tape where it's university courses, there's a great one on science fiction. Oh yeah, I think I get magazine for that, I've always... Maybe. I think I get it in the mail, and it's you can. Yeah, I, I download it offline like a uh, criminal, like internet. I do everything in uh, Thailand. Yeah. I'm a songwriter, so you can't tell me that. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I think. See, I, I'm, I, I dated a songwriter for a long time, singer songwriter, uh, and she's just now coming around to my viewpoint, which I've always thought was right because it's mine. Because <laughs> it's yours. Yeah. You're uh, gonna be the old curmudgeon. Right? Well. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, getting to be. Oh, I'm, I'm past that. I'm, I'm like lapping curmudgeon. I'm like double curmudgeon. No, but I think... Uh, it sounds like a coffee drink. I'll have a double curmudgeon. I'll have a double curmudgeon Extra mocha. Extra foam. <laughs> no whip. Nope. Oh, no, you want the whip. Oh, that's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I want the nay-nay. <laughs> there you go. Stanky leg. Um, uh, what was I saying? Oh, uh, I think exposure is more important than money for a singer-songwriter. Uh, oh, oh well, yeah. So it does suck eating quesadilla every day, but yeah. Sure, I, but I, you get to a certain point where if everybody knows you're right, shit, then you can tour. Then and you stuff. can tour yeah, and yeah, make money, and that's sure. the only way they let you make money nowadays, isn't it? Uh, I think these days the 360 deals you have to fork even that money over. But yeah, that's ridiculous. Yeah, it's, I know. It's, I, so I heard don't that. even get me started. Yeah, with that. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's awful. Crazy. You guys are artists. Tend that's to, why I do tend three thousand things because. You know, yeah. I, I well, have to. but and this, I Francis Ford Coppola did an interview about this name dropper. Uh, oh no, and, and, <laughs> no, not not to me. He didn't talk to me personally, but you can look it up. And, uh, his this interview, and it was really fascinating. Uh, it was something along with somebody had asked him about. Do you think movie stars deserve this twenty million dollar oh, picture type sure. thing? And Francis Ford Coppola he said nobody ever said that because you're an artist you get to be rich yeah throughout history artists have struggled and struggled and struggled and died poor and you had to beg off rich people to give you just enough money to survive and it's still true today yeah yeah Yeah. well but we've got this culture that's got this idea that you know if you're artistic in any way you should you know be making a lot of money which is I I agree with it. I, I think I, arts should I, I be subsidized. I never got into I'm kinda, it. Yeah, I'm, this I did is too. I'm really socialist in no, that. No, I agree with it. Because it, 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 it has this uh, intrinsic uh, value yes. to society. Well, everybody wants something artistic in their life, but they don't want to pay for it. My only thing is, I don't need to be rich. I do what I, I love. You like to get by. I, I just want to get by. I want to yeah. not stress if yeah. I break my leg, God forbid, or something. Yeah. You know, You know, you just don't want to... I mean, I have health insurance. I make sure I have the, the necessity things that I need in case something horrifying happens, you know. But um, anyway, but I think, I think, you know, yeah. and I think he, his point, Coppola's point, was also like, hey, listen, it's like sports people, kind of, you know, they complain about this side or the other. I'm only making a million dollars a year. They make like a hundred million well, dollars. Sure, but I mean, even in yeah. the middle areas, yeah. And like, you play baseball yeah. all day. You know how many people would die to play baseball yeah. all yeah. day yeah. you know or be a Star singer perform. songwriter it would be like yeah. i think you should be able to get by yeah. absolutely yeah. you should sure but i mean you're blessed it is, just a, in that yeah it's a it's a weird situation do you think people go to francis Ford coppola's house and all that he has for them to drink is his wine it's good wine but you, <laughs> maybe, think, maybe. you think he's like does anybody want some wine? And they're like, Jesus, Francis, uh, get well, some scotch. I hope Nicholas Cage is there handing it out. I love him. Because that guy needs work. I love, oh, <laughs> don't you be dissing my Nicky. I love him so much. He was in Valley Girl, which is such That's a great That's true. Movie. Yeah, but that was 30 years ago. So. I know. Yeah. But I, yeah. I love me some Nick Cage. Yeah. I do. I no, really he do. can. He that can, whole family. He can be amazing. That whole family. Well, Jason is so, Schwartzman. That, is he part of the, oh, he is. Jason movie. Schwartzman, yeah. That's right. And, uh, and um, Sophia. Yeah. And and Sophia what a and, family. Yeah, and well, Jason Schwartzman's mother was. Yeah, I think I did know that. She's I read the, that in from something. The, the from Rocky. Yeah, yeah. Talia. Yeah, Talia Shire. Yeah. Uh, the talented yeah, family. Yeah, crazy, crazy yeah. talented. Yeah. But they might be sick of the wine. I'm just saying. <laughs> a, little, a little bit. 
Have you, you said the wine's good. It is good. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is good. I would hope so. Yeah. It's it a is. lot of money in it. Yeah. Yeah. That, that you know what this is something that Japan does really well. I, I love Japan. I just came from Japan. I've never been. I think I would because I'm go, six foot just, one. I would only you, wear high heels there, yeah. and I would probably wear a platinum blonde wig, and I would just walk around. They places. would love you. You I would. Get, you, would you know what? You'd never get anywhere because people would be <laughs> stopping I, you to take photos. Yeah, I have giant eyes too, yeah, so I'd yeah, be like they, a walking they, anime yeah, or Godzilla they, or oh, something. They, they it would, would be the best. Love you. They I got to do that one of these days. They, they'll, they even. I'm kind of average looking and not that tall, <laughs> but I'm a Westerner, so I'll, I'll get stopped places in Japan that get people just want to get their picture taken That's with so me, funny. and I don't think they mistake me for anyone they might. else. But, uh, I'm trying to think of now who yeah. you look like that might be a well, I, I was in a bar in Japan, and the guy says, oh, Bradu Pito, Bradu Pito. Oh, I can see that a little bit. Yeah, that's ah, yeah, so yeah, I, it's, I think that. we you have the be... same kind of coloration in the yeah, beard type Yeah, and, and you know, yeah, yeah. I could kind of see that. Yeah. Brad, You'll have to Bradu post the pictures and yeah. then people can vote. And side by vote. side, yeah. yeah. I, um, I, growing up, I got Shelly Duvall. No. Chili, yeah, yeah, yeah Shelly Duvall. Shelly Duvall, yeah. Wait, is that the right olive one? Olive oil. Olive oil. Yes. I, 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 yeah, yeah, olive oil. Oh, Popeye. But, uh, anyway. To get back to Japan, they do, they, they subsidize arts. I mean, they so pay for Canada. artists. Canada yeah. does that too. Yeah. I think. Well, they they, they have go. a lot of grants in Canada. Yeah. So. yeah, but they're commies or something. I don't know. No, I think it's they're socialists. But socially, close. yeah, what yeah, is it? Close. Yeah, yeah. we can't, you know, okay. given people sick people milk and is health really care, expensive they're... in Canada. I yeah. remember that. Well, I, I don't really drink milk. They have anymore, a lot of cows. But... I don't see why. <laughs> well, because it's not. Have it's not paid for. Like in America, certain foods are are subsidized. Yes. I can't. Gas. The price of gas now. Every, like, the Coca-Cola costs four times what it did when I moved. In Thailand? Mo- no, in oh, America. Oh, in America. Coca-Cola? Coca-Cola oh. or everything. But, I know. don't drink soda pop, so. Well, any of these. I do you call go to, soda you, pop, though, which you, is also weird. You, yeah, which, where are you from? <laughs> I don't know. Where are up, you from? Up there. <laughs> <laughs> up there. Somewhere up there. But you go to the grocery store, everything's four times as expensive as it was ten years ago. Yeah, that happens. But gas is the exact same price. Well, it goes, it fluctuates quite a bit. Yeah, What's weird, yeah, I'm from but, Seattle, right? And when yeah. I go home, I there's a refinery not too far from where I grew up. And yeah. it's weird because gas in Seattle is way more expensive than here in Nashville. I just spit on you. I'm so sorry. You, sorry. And it's way more expensive. I have to pay for that. Yeah. <laughs> back home. Should I like, pixelate yeah, yeah. something? Yeah. Gonna, <laughs> yeah, exactly. spit on you. Um, I just came from Japan, so it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Sorry, uh, mother. Oh, yeah. yeah. she could take it. Yeah. She did have children. That's after true. All. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw a picture of your mom um, when Angie, when her sister was getting married. Your mom oh, was yeah. a hottie. Holy moly. Oh, oh my mom. Yeah. yeah. No, she used Super. to be platinum blonde. I don't know Super what happened hottie. there, but. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know. It she, was. It was. Uh, I it like was her all hair chemical. now. I like her hair now, but yeah. she. She and Angie, man, they got to meet Elvis. I mean, that's pretty cool stuff. Oh, oh, you mean Auntie Angie? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Why is there another Angie? Oh, I forgot everyone in your my family. My daughter's has... name, or not my daughter, my sister's name Whoa. is Angie. Her daughter. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know what my children's <laughs> names are. <laughs> they're out there somewhere. They're somewhere. Who knows what they're called? Oh, my goodness. Someday they'll. I just uh, I posted on uh, online the other day. I'm like, thank God, another Father's Day has passed without a phone call. <laughs> My dad, dads are good. Yeah, He'd probably no, be a good dad. I'm a great uncle. Oh, well, that's where I'm from. I'm a good auntie on. as yeah. well. I don't, so. I don't have children that I know of. Yeah, see, you know. See. Well, that would keep be. knocking on Ray Bradbury's door. <laughs> <laughs> Open There's, up. I heard a great interview with Dolly Parton, and they, she, her and her husband decided to they picked career over children. Okay. And this guy asked her, "Do you regret it?" And she said, "Well, we used to." But she's got 11 brothers and sisters. Oh. They all have kids. Yeah. And she says they go over, they're Auntie Dolly, and they give them toys and hang out with them it's for the, the day. And then at the end of the day, they get to go home. Yeah. And yeah. It, and it's done. Yeah. And she said, so we're very happy with that situation. I already told my brother's kids, I said, y'all, whatever money I have when I die, say, I say, it's, it's going to be yours. So you better be nice. So you better take care of me and stuff. I'm just going to leave everything to you guys. Oh, so and yes. that way I know that you're going to take care of me. I didn't you, you want to make sure I don't write you out of the will. So, you know. Oh, so, did they buy this? They they bought it so far. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I, I could try the same thing. Yeah. So far. Well, you've got a lot of nieces and nephews too. So. No, I just. Well, oh, you got I've a got, lot of second cousins. Well, I got cousins, my. Yeah, yeah, I've got a lot of second cousins. I have. 
What do I have? I got By now, everyone listening is tuned out. They're like, we don't care. Yeah, nobody. <laughs> this is the most boring podcast ever. Let's talk about people's family. No, this is well, I've got my, my, my stepmother uh, and her grandkids, or my, our yeah. my nieces and nephews. Uh, well, nieces now, officially. And then I've got two nephews and a niece from my sister. Oh, so, there you go. Yeah, there you go. We'll be taken anyway. care of. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Just make sure you you let them know that I'll you're let them know where the keys account. to the bar are. Yeah, you have an account yeah. set up for them, Boom. and Off to so the side. they better take care of you. If they're lucky, they get a holiday in Thailand. There you go. Uncle I'm Thailand. gonna come visit you in Thailand. You should. I've when never been to Thailand. It? I have no idea. Yeah, One of these soon, days when I come up for air. Yeah. yeah. Although I enjoy a lot of these things, I do. So I don't feel like the rat race is. You know, bringing me down too yeah. bad. Yeah, That's no, funny. it's good for a holiday. It's yeah. just really, really far. Yeah. It's uh, my the last time I w- I visited here to get back to Bangkok from my dad's house, like door to door, was thirty six hours. See, the, here's yeah. the thing: when I fly, that last hour, and even on like a six and eight hour yeah. flight, that last hour, hour and a half, I'm like William Shatner on the plane, just yeah. like get me out of here. Well, you're, look at you. I mean, you're just, a tall glass of water. I am very tall, and so I, you know, I'm pacing up and down, and now you can't really do that. They get weirded out by that, and why, why is so, she hanging out near the door? Yeah, so I'm I'm in my seat trying to jump up and down in my seat just just to get some. Oh, I don't know if I could do 30 hours. I think it would be yeah. crazy. I did go to Sweden to write um, a couple of years ago, and that was, I think, eight and a half, was it eight, eight and a half hours. And it was long, for you gotta sure. you got to do it in legs. Watch movies. you got to do it in legs. Like, I'm going back, uh, I'm doing 20 hours that'll take me back to Tokyo. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm spending 19 hours in Tokyo. Oh. And then I'm flying the, the last five hours back to oh, Bangkok. that's not so bad. Yeah, so it's yeah. just to take a break. So how how do you get to your island from Bangkok? Uh, you don't fly. We have budget airlines. <laughs> oh, now. okay. Yeah, yeah. They, Thirty bucks will take oh. me. The, it's about an hour flight. It's like being in Hawaii. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but then when I land in uh, Krabi, which <laughs> is the the town or it's the province. Who named all these places? Yeah, I have had a, a good sense of humor. Hilarious. Hilarious. Krabby poo, um, and poo means crab. Oh, weird. The, See, the now irony. I'm really yeah. confused. Um, and then I have to take a bus for like an hour and a half, two hours. Oh, okay. Now we've got a bridge. Oh. I I helped preside over the opening of the bridge Good just this year. Yeah, oh. I'm, I'm, You're a big deal. A little bit of a big deal. You're a big deal. I have some leather-bound books. Um, <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, yeah it's it, no. It, they well, they they need to trot out somebody who speaks English every once in a yeah, while at sure. official occasions. And I've lived there so long, yeah. I'm well known. How long have you lived there now? Well, this will be ten years. Wow! Yeah, that's amazing. That's how long I've lived in Nashville. Oh, there you go. I could have been in Thailand this whole time. Have you opened any bridges? <laughs> I haven't. No, and no. you need to come on. No, up to. I know. Sheesh. Yeah. Now I feel like an unaccomplished twat. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually said twat. Is it twat? Yeah. Oh, is that the English my English friends say? say it's twat. Oh, twat. That's, yeah. I can't even get that right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for doing this. No really problem. No it. problem. This, we said, do we t- touch on every, I think? I we, think we touched on, on so I many mean, things. Forty. And I got good. spit on. It was awesome. I know. No, I, you didn't. I, I, it might not have gotten that far. I missed it. We, you know, so once we're enough. off air, we can. I can try again. I'll hook a loogie or something. Hook a loogie. I can't even get that. Hawk. Hawk, hawk a loogie, yeah. I think. Ah. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> that was never. That was never my thing. Tad, the the, the bad the, penny. The bad penny in Colenta. Colenta, K O K O A N T A. Yeah, but it's two words. Co means island. Right. So if you look up Lanta, Lanta it's weird. Means you get to blue there's stuff that makes your digestion better, right? My Lanta. Atlanta. Nobody actually knows what it means. That's oh, weird. That is weird. Nobody, they, they've you tried to find out where the name of the island came from, and nobody really knows. They have some theories, but nobody really knows. What's the theory? Well, uh, uh, a, a lan- lanta is a Malaysian fish grill. Oh, that's So nice. they think fishermen maybe used oh, to sure. stop and grill yeah. fish on the beach when it used to be, you know, Works you'd, you'd go in a rowboat and fish. Yeah. Uh, and then the other one is sparkling diamond or something like that. But I think that's the tourism yeah, board made that one up. Probably, yeah. yeah. What, how do you say goodbye in Thai? Oh, Saudi Krap. Saudi Krap. Well, you would say Saudi Ka. Saudi Ka. Sawadi. 
Sawadi ka. Ka. And then I say Sawadi krap. It's also a hello. So it's a good no. one to know. It's the okay. first one everybody wants. Why do you say crap and I say ka? Because I'm a boy and you're a girl. Now what happens for the people that are boys and girls? They, they, oh, they, they do ka. They, they do ka. They, 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 they are on the female side. On the female side. That's yeah. the better side. Yeah, well, <laughs> who wouldn't want to, right? Yeah. All right. Thanks, Kat. All right. Bad penny, everybody. Bye. Bye.